Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix um, the problem related to Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, let's say when you're trying to insert a video in PowerPoint, you get an error message saying that PowerPoint cannot insert a video from selected file, verify the path and the file format. Uh, you might get this error message uh, when you try to um, view a PowerPoint pre presentation which has got video in it. Now let's get started. If, uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also uh, subscribe to my channel. Now, in order to insert a video in PowerPoint, you will have to make sure that you will have a QuickTime player installed on your computer. In case if you don't have a QuickTime player installed on your computer, you will not be able to play a video in a PowerPoint um, file or you will not be able to um, insert a video in a PowerPoint. So make sure you have a PowerPoint uh, QuickTime player installed on your computer. Let me show you how to go ahead and install a QuickTime player. Uh, uh, let me show you a demonstration as well. I have a PowerPoint um, open on my computer screen and uh, let me go ahead and try to insert a, pop, a video in a PowerPoint and see uh, what error message um, we get when I try to insert a video. And let me also show you how to uh, this is the error message I would get when I try to insert a video. So let me go, uh, show you how to go ahead and fix it. So uh, first thing, um, we will have to go to google.com and search for a QuickTime player for Windows 10. Make sure you install it from the um, website from support.apple.com, not from any other website because there are chances that um, you uh, it might have malware in it. So I will also mention the, the link in the description of this video. So once you go to this website, make sure you go ahead and select, if it is for Windows, you will have to go ahead and select a download QuickTime player for Windows, which is 7.7.9 .7 version. At the moment, you can go ahead and click on download. It has been released on January 7, 2016. Now that I've already have QuickTime player downloaded on my computer, I'm going to go to click on cancel. And um, I'm going to click on show in folder and double click on this. and click on next accept the end users license agreement select typical install click on install so right now it is installing quicktime player on the computer in case if you get user access control prompt click on yes that is your giving the giving your giving the permission uh, to go ahead and install quicktime player so right now it is copying new files on my computer quicktime player files on my computer so it's going to take a moment uh, okay, so the QuickTime player has been successfully installed on, a com on my computer. So I'm going to open PowerPoint. And now I'm trying to go ahead and install the power uh, video, uh, insert a video in my PowerPoint presentation and select. So now it will allow me to play a video in a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Um, so I hope uh, this you video was useful. If you like this video, uh, make sure you hit the like button and also uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.